As the economy is slowly recovering, the Department of Business, Economic Development and Tourism released its May unemployment report today, showing the state gained more than 21,000 jobs within the past year. At the same time, we lost 1,500 jobs between May and April. Industries that saw the most gains in the past month were in leisure and hospitality and other services. The state's unemployment rate now stands at 4.2 percent. That's just slightly higher than what was reported in April. Take a look at this graph that's about a 16 percent drop from when unemployment claims reached an all-time high at the start of the pandemic two years ago. It's gradually come down as the state reopened and the economy improved, but it's still 2 percent higher than pre-pandemic levels. The state is trying to make it easier for unemployed residents to get back into the workforce. The Department of Labor and Industrial Relations launched a new digital hub today connecting those looking for a job with local job seekers. DLIR partnered with a national tech nonprofit called Research Improving People's Lives, or Ripple, to create Hawaii's Career Acceleration Navigator, also known as HICAN. The platform streamlines the process of job hunting by centralizing search services. What it's doing, it's transitioning individuals into new careers, the next steps in their journey, their work, workforce journey, and helping them be successful in their career transitions. And it's using technology data that we have internally with data claimants provide to us to match them with these high tech jobs or any career path that they want to move forward with. Tonight, the department is emailing a link to the HICAN site to more than 20,000 current unemployed individuals so they can start looking for jobs.